What's up Legionnaires and welcome back to another part of our Abbasid Caliphate campaign for 1212 AD. So in the last episode we did take Hamadan from the Quasmarian Empire. Um, we had a big old battle outside the walls and basically then just walked in and besieged the last bit. So that was very good, we were successful there. We are slowly pushing them back. We did have a few problems down here around Kerman in I think it was like part 2. We uh, had a battle down here, we did lose a full stack, so we are trying to rebuild it, which is why our economy is so good at the moment. Uh, but we are slowly pushing them back, and then we can start to go westward towards, uh, well, the Zengids and then the Crusaders. And we can reform the Abbasid Empire, which is our aim. But anyway, I'd just like to thank you all for the support, all the likes, the subscribes, and uh, the comments that you guys are, uh, well, giving to this uh, Let's Play. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, and you're enjoying the content at the moment, and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. really helps with the channel. And uh, I hope you guys are all doing well, and staying inside, and uh, staying safe, and well, just continue to do so. Uh, let's all just pull together uh, through these uncertain times, and you can enjoy an excellent episode by yours truly. But anyway, on with the episode. So I think we are going to probably just end the turn. I think we did everything we needed to do in the last turn. Uh, we can move this guy, but I don't really want to. Can we move my assassin? I can move my assassin. Uh, I could move him up there. I think I'm going to not bother. I might move this guy to Yards and see what's going on here. Actually, because I think this might be my next target. The Ray is obviously also very much an open target. I might move Allah's Chosen Warriors there and soon. I'd like to assassinate this general or certainly finish off his army, one or the other. But anyway, we're going to end the turn. And we're going to see what happens at the end of this term. We might uh, we might have a little battle. We might not. I don't think we will, though, because the Quasmarine Empire is uh, looking pretty beaten up. They look like they've got a civil war that's just started as well. The Crusaders might make a push, though. It'll be interesting to see if Jerusalem can actually expand. The Ayyubids are uh, struggling. I'll put it like that. They've lost some land to, the Anti to Antioch. Nope. Looks like nothing happened. The Ubers might be making a, a push back for uh, Aleppo, though. Okay. Some spy here. He's just going to do, you know, just do his thing. Yep. Whatever he's doing. He's inciting some sort of uh, revolt in my land. That's not okay. Okay, and this army's going deep into my land. Uh, I'm not too worried about this because, well, he's got, like, no troops. And you can't recruit mercenaries uh, at the moment. So there's no threat of him just recruiting a merc stack and then just... Assaulting a city. Okay, that's great. Measles. Okay, we've got... Oh, unforeseen complications. That's not good. Um, right, we've got a food shortage here as well in Avaz. This is not good. This is a concern. Um, so, food shortage here. So, I'm sure this is probably why... Yeah, minus three. We can sort that out with a bit of... Uh, well, food put in. Put it straight like that. Um, okay, so we'll definitely be upgrading that in time as well. I'd like to recruit some more troops here, I think, but they're not great. I could actually recruit more archers. I'll recruit two more, and this army I'm going to move back to Avaz because I'd like to recruit better troops. You can assassinate this guy, Uzbeg. Take him out. Shoot him in the face. Oh, he narrowly missed us, but uh, did the job anyway. If you just damage him. Okay, so why can't we crew anything here? Okay, we can't actually get anything great here just yet. But we could get footwar jund and everything else in the next turn. Oh, well, in a few turns' time. Okay, that's not the end of the world. This place, you can recruit more stuff. I know that. You can get a lot of good stuff. Look at everything we can get here. Um, I'd like Nafatoons. Um, but first I'm going to get more infantry and that's apparently all we can get so it's just going to be infantry uh, which is fine I guess that is fine I thought I saw a new faction that I had risen up oh we can see Venice okay I'm pretty sure I saw one of the Russian factions or something like that over here I don't think they will be in it I don't think they were in it yet but I swear I saw like the emblem that I saw is used for Novgorod. I'm going to have to check that at the end of the turn. It's like right at the end. But yes, we've got measles everywhere now currently. This is lovely. 
At least, oh, this is not good though. Sunny Islam is going down and Shia is going up. Okay, well, we're going to have to sort that out. Because we can't have that happening. Uh, Jafar? Right, so we'll have public order. Because that's what we're here for. And wealth. Then for years, you can have uh, cunning and taxes. There we go. Excellent. Right, well, we need to sort out the... Uh, I might just put the, like, uh, get a holy man and just put him in there to, like, upgrade and basically, uh, just boost, uh, Sunni Islam. I'm not quite sure why Shia Islam is so strong in this part of the world. Surely that would be, like, I'm not really sure where it would be, actually, so I'm not going to really say. I would have thought it may have been further west. At some point, though, we are going to have to betray the Ayubids, which is more of a concern. Because they're big. Yeah, look, there's the Quasmarines just off to do their own thing. Not quite sure what that entails. Right, I'm going to be just checking here. Okay, Oman's doing his thing. It's, yeah, it's the uh, Rus Pretenders or something like that. That's interesting. At the age of... Okay, so we've had someone die. Assassinate the... We've got to assassinate someone? Also, who died here? Khalid. Okay. I presume he's one of my governors. Um, but anyway, you can... I could actually have you put in as a guy, but I don't know really what you're very good at. If anything. Probably not anything. But we're going to have you... I'm probably going to just, you know, we'll give you commander's unit page, and we'll give you two personal influence per turn. There you go. Rider uh, politician could do that. Administrator, I'd prefer to have those. So there you go, Basra can have that. It can sort out its its problems. Uh, right, and now Madden, I could upgrade this. I'm not really too fussed about upgrading that. I'd like to really be building a better mosque. Is there anything that will help with religion here? No. I presume I've just got to, yeah. I guess state religion, I could put a footwall house in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a footwall house in. That'll he that helps with state religion. So that'll buff, I imagine, also a small mosque. Yeah, Shia Islam is slowly changing, and I'm not, not really a fan of that. Okay, so public order here. Uh, we we kind of need to keep that, unfortunately. Though we could actually change that. That's currently... Plus four, so it'd make it minus two. We could make it. We could just generally make it happier, I guess. Oh no, that's gonna bring down my state religion. I'm not really a fan of that. No, nope, there's not actually one that's gonna boost my state religion. That's a shame. Um, I'm gonna move you back to. Hmm. I was gonna move you back to Basra, but I'm not sure now. You're going to move on to Ray or whatever you're called. A 15 stack should be enough to take out Ray, I would have thought. Uh, oh, maybe not. Or maybe not. But there's nothing here that's really shouting out, yes, I want to buy. So we are going to move on. This is going to put it in minus 6, but most of that's going to be down to instability. Let's put some siege towers in. Uh, I don't think this army can reach, and it's not even a big army anyway, so I won't be that scared of it. This place here, yep, you're recruiting stuff. Brilliant. I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to move you back to Basra. Um, this is a risk because it's obviously got disease problems. Never great. We have disease rife in this part of the world. But uh, we'll risk coming back. I'm going to put some spears in, some cheap spears. Yeah, just put cheap spears in. I mean, it's not bad. They're not a bad unit, so... And spears are always good against calves, so that's fine. We'll have them. And uh, where was my holy man? I had a holy man somewhere. Was it a holy man? It is an honor to he isn't. He is a holy man indeed. Right, we're going to send you, I'm sorry, all the way back down here. Because you've got to start doing some some holy stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll recruit someone else. Well, Yads is fine. We don't need to worry about that just yet. I think the garrison here is pretty poor. So that's not the end of the world. 
It is one of the f next places I would like to attack, but we're going to take Ray first. So we will end. Oh no, Basra's got something he needs to do first. Um, let's put in growth. Where was it? Growth and wealth. There we go. And there was something else as well. Jafar needs a skill. Jafar needs a skill. Hey. Um, what can you have here? Nothing great at all. Okay. Let's put tax in, and we'll also put in construction cost. There we go. Bring down that. So now, if I want to build this, it'll only cost eight thousand, which isn't awful. So we'll end the turn. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a. I should be. The, I'm the sunny religion. I'm pretty sure. I really hope I am, because otherwise I'm just been capturing stuff and making, uh, keeping it sunny for no reason. But yes, it looks like, um, okay, another goddamn spy coming up here. Right, we might have to go and assassinate him as well. Always a joy just to keep killing agents. Just, they just keep popping up. And here's another one. <laughs> Gosh. They're really just... I don't know what they're doing. Maybe bribing? I know they can't even bribe stuff. They can just make provinces unhappy. Okay. And then that army's just going through my lands. With a really small stack. So bizarre. I don't know what the AI is trying to do. I guess it's just like, well, we're stuck on the wrong side of the empire. We've got to carry on back the way we came. I'm not sure. Yeah, the Rus pretenders are, are there. So maybe Rus can be formed. Or like Russia can be formed. That'll be interesting to see. Um, anyway, you carry on all the way back here. Yeah, I'm just going to check actually to see. I, I'm definitely... Uh, yeah, we're definitely sunny. Yeah, and we could convert to Shia, but... Uh, it's it's not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. Um, right. Oh, you got an upgrade? Okay. Not quite sure why. Uh, wow, my integrity is actually going down massively. How come? Factions, politics, characters. Okay, not great. Um, let's put that up and then that up then. Right, well, make a move. I guess we'll... Actually, I could move this army up here. We can help take Ray with the Bane of Christendom. And... Yep, yeah, I think that should be enough to assault this. I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Because I hate doing sieges. I, If you're new to the channel, I hate doing Attila sieges specifically. Like, or specifically. Because, uh... The towers. The towers, man, they're pretty nasty. I did do one the other day, uh, like in one of the earlier episodes, but I mean... It was not fun. It was not fun at all. Right, um... Actually, I don't really want a noble state, so I'm going to knock you down. But you can go back to uh, Isafan. Not quite sure. What oh, this place isn't awful. Like, it's still quite happy. Assassinate you. 70%. Right, yep. Well, he's level 4. We need to get rid of this guy. Okay, uh, narrowly escaped. Brilliant. I think everyone's been narrowly escaping stuff for me, which is just not good. Um, I'm going to put... I'm going to put you there, and I'm also going to put one more into integrity for you. Oh yes, and you've upgraded as well. He has the strength of 10 men, apparently, guys. Um, so he can just beat everyone. Right, anyway, we're going to put zeal on, and I would also like... Hmm. Guerrilla tactic? Foreign province? Authority? Um, yeah, we'll go with authority to start with. Okay, right. You've done your bit there. Um, we still have plenty of money. Is there anyone that we could possibly get some deals with? We could try and get deals with the Krasmarine pretenders. Oh, they have trade. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably just going to be taking you out. So I, I'm not going to be just making any trade deals. When we're just definitely going to break them. Um, oh, the Ubi pretenders are uh, a thing. Honored emissary. And I will answer. Okay, right, well, I didn't expect they wouldn't appease to my will. We can see uh, Kingdom of Silesia, Nicaea, Latin Empire, 
Trebizond. Um, yeah, there's no one here that I'm massively like wanting to make any deals with. Maybe Rome if they've got anything Greetings, left to offer. Military friend. alliance. I think it'll be the anticipation of your noble and worthy. Well, no, that's fine then. I just kind of want the money so I can start building a mosque. But if we can't do that, I'm just going to save the rest of my money and we're going to do it at the beginning of next time because I just want to convert this back to uh, Sunny ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Um, right. What could you recruit here? Oh, we could actually recruit a lot of stuff here as well. Uh, but that's fine. We can just carry on. We can. Pr we'll probably go for Nishapur soon, and uh, just declare war on the Pretenders. They they are looking pretty. Okay, I like how the Crossmarine Empire and the Crossmarine Pretenders are the same color on the map. Just looks, just looks like a wall of light blue. But uh, we're going to end the turn, and we'll see what happens. So I hope you guys are all having uh, great days, and uh, whether it's work, if you're still at work, <laughs> not many people that I know are still at work, um, or you're just chilling at home. I mean, the UK is got pretty nice weather, it's sun shining here, it's a lovely day. So I hope you're all enjoying yourself, and, but staying safe, you've got to stay safe. Uh, have that like plastered against, like on the screen, stay safe, no. Uh, but um, get it we get it told enough anyway by a people of authority. But um, oh, it looks like the pretenders have risen up in my land. What are they doing here? Well, you're distracting me from my. Uh, I don't know what I was really, to be honest, doing. I was making some sort of rant. I'm just quite interested that the Rus have risen up. I like how every faction as well just seems to also have pretenders apart from the person that, who's playing as a faction. Like, the player doesn't have many pretenders. But, you know, everyone else. They can't seem to keep it together. There you go. They've gone. I uh, Clearly they were just here for, like, one turn. Um, Who was he? I'd pay him off. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Paid this man. Oh, okay, and this is not good. We've got... Uh, a few people that have got some... Uh, you? Yeah, just find yourself a wife. Actually, I could do it, maybe. Um, yeah, you just get him back on side. I'm going to see whether I can get any... Uh, any deals done. Let's see whether, like, Oman, for instance, has any marriages. No. No surprise. I may just have to ask him to find his own wife. He might just need to find his own wife. Um, the Gurids, let's see. My master extends the most magnificent. Hmm. Yeah, something, something tells me that uh, Muslim These factions. Oh no, Muslim factions can. For your terms, there we go. Now, I was going to say, I didn't know if Muslim factions could organize marriages or whether. Like uh, the Christian factions do. But I can tell you one thing I can get 5,000 still out of, of a marriage. That's. Just nasty. Um, but anyway. You carry on here, sir. Uh, yep. Shia, Shia Islam can uh, carry on doing its thing if it wants. Apart from it can't now. And we're going to change that around. So there we go. Sunny Islam is on the way back. And we're building a mosque. Um, and then I'm going to build... I could build that. It's going to help. Going to bring down the food a bit more. But, um, hmm... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll build that. This army needs some uh, cavalry in it. We can build Bedouin lancers. Sound okay, but they're pretty. They're very. They're, oh no, they're light shock cavalry. I'd rather. Oh, these are heavy shock. Um. Hmm. 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 I'm thinking uh, these medium melee were pretty good. Yeah, we'll get three units of them. Right, and then we've also done our... Uh, I think we did pedal operators and sp bloom spinning wheel, didn't we? So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with advanced castle architecture, just so I can get a longer holdout time. Not that I really need it. Um, let's just have you killed. This guy's clearing up all the like agents of the Quasmarine Empire. Oh, he, apart from this time. I, I spoke too soon. Um, I actually don't have the money to upgrade that which is a bit of a shame so and you're still going down currently okay so we're gonna put one there and we're gonna put one there there's not actually any oh my gosh you've got these all the way to level 10 it's not bad 
Um, unfortunately, can't do that. I'm going to get some Nafatoons and which take two turns. I'm also going to get some more swords, I think, and get which take two turns. That's fine. I just want more Nafatoons. We need more Nafatoons in the armies. In the armies of uh, Allah, we need more Nafatoons. And then I think I'm going to move out next turn, move out from Ray, and we're going to start our conquest of Yads, I think. I'm going to go down, take Yads, then take Kerman. And then we can just deal with them in this small pocket up here. We don't need to worry about our flank. And we're slow, but yeah, we are slowly dealing with like all of them. I like how this region here, look at these guys. Minus two, yeah, you can carry on doing that. It takes a little while for you to knock that down. You can keep raiding there for all I care. Anyway, we'll... Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can massively do. Um, what happened to my guy? Oh, he's here now. Okay. <laughs> I did think he just disappeared and we just have the wife. No. Um, okay, right. Well, can, can't marry you off yet, it seems. So I'm going to end the turn. Not very medieval that I can't marry my uh, family off at an earlier date than... 18, but very appropriate for this day and age. Um, that's, yeah, just yeah. I'm I'm just gonna leave that there. To be honest, um, medieval marriage is weird. Put it like that. And you n often never met the uh, other person in the marriage. You just turned up on the day and expected to marry them. That's a big yikes. To be honest, especially if they weren't good looking. Okay, he's back. This level 4 guy. What's he doing? Just stirring the pot in my cities. This is why I want to kill factions off. Because they're their agents. Not because like they're a problem like with their armies. Their agents do more damage than their armies, it would seem. But then again, the Krasmarian Empire's garrison seem to be my most, my biggest concern. We seek trade and oh, I'd love to do trade, but you're just going to die very, very soon. I'm so sorry. Yeah, see, they're just doing su yeah, they're success after success there. And we've also got all the measles going on here. All the measles. Anyway, we have an upgrade. Um, what's this? We've got a funduk going on here. Excellent. Um, that was something I wanted to build over here. Ray, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, we want to build a... Uh, where is it? Where is it? I also want a funduk here. There it is. A funduk. Right. Now that, oh, that was all our money. Oh, what a shame. Oh well, um, we'll come back and build something here next time. <laughs> Such a shame. Um, I guess let's kill this guy again. And then I'm going to move this army down. I'm just going to carry on. I'm not really too bothered about the pull order. There we are. He narrowly escaped again. Like this man's just agile as hell. Anyway, we're going to move the 15 stack down. It's not really had a chance to really build anything, and it's not going to get a chance to build anything. Oh my god, there's a big stack here. That is a big stack. Um, yeah, carry on besieging. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is a huge army. I think we can do it, though. I mean, what have they got? They've got, they've got some light shot cavalry. They've got a lot of jabbies of their own. They've got, they also have Nafatoons. God damn it. If I brought up this army. Well, this army has all the cav. Actually, yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to fall back. I'm so sorry. Army, I've just condemned you. And you can't replenish there, but oh well. And you're going to starve a little bit more. Um, what a waste. What a waste. Um... You're doing your little bit here. You're making this all lovely and... Uh, I was about to say Christian. Sunny Islam. Sunny. Not Christian. Um, speaking of Christianity, does look like they're going to take out the northern part of the Ubud Empire. Which is no surprise. It seems to happen every time. Um, George is, yeah, doing doing bits by the looks of it. Um, but yes, we're going we're gonna to try and take the ads. Can I recruit a spy? I'd really like to... Or another agent. Where, where was I able to... I think it was here, wasn't it? No, I can't get another one then. But I could get another spy. Or a spy. I haven't got one yet. Um, vengeance. 
I think I'll get that one if I was going to get any of them. Garzy. We'll end the turn. Um, hopefully, Yad's is going to lose that huge army that's just sticking like there. I mean, that's the last real army that we need to deal with. If I can catch it outside the city walls, that'll be brilliant. If not, then we might be in trouble. But I'm going to, well, I'm going to send both these armies to go and besiege Yad's in a moment. And then we can see whether they'll come out and attack me. Because I think I might have a better chance if they sally out, obviously. Otherwise, we're probably just going to be in for a long, long siege. I might need to recru recruit a fourth army just to be doing garrison duties, to be honest. Here we go. I did think this was going to happen eventually. Now, I think I could fight this. And I would. If I didn't have... If I had more cavalry. Because I know that cavalry's nasty. And he's got two... He's got two... Not just one. Two units of Nafatoons. Okay. What is that for retreat? You went all the way past... Your city. Very well. Very well. Okay, they fell back. Okay, they didn't actually go to Yads either. Alright, I'm going to take out that small army. Then we're going to move on Yards, and uh, we're going to go from there, basically. And we're going to see what happens. Looks like they're just going to give it up. I, I like what the AI does sometimes. They are very, very clever. Um, disease outbreak again. Raiding. Yeah, I don't care about raiding. Um, go stuff one. Those small units of... Uh... Yep, there you go. You're just going to fall back, aren't you? Where are you falling back to? There. Okay, we can we can might have a battle on here today. Ready for orders. We might have a battle on. Yeah, because I think. Yeah. Well, okay. We apparently we have a battle on, but it's not really a fair one. I'm gonna fight it, but um, for your guys' entertainment, because we're gonna about to take yads, because we're gonna take out this garrison. But uh, apart from that. It's, yeah, it's not very fair, really. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield. I've got my archers out front with my ghoul and foot guards. And we've also got just a line of, basically, swords. We've got an Aphitoons and our general at the back. We've got our cavalry just hiding back here. Um, and this is just kind of what we're going to go with. I'm going to just push forward because I think I could probably win with this army alone. And I kind of plan to. Uh, the other army is just going to... Well, I don't know. Well, we're going to focus on the Nafatoons as, as soon as they come into range. Okay, their other army is turning up over here. That is... That is something. Um, cavalry... Okay. Cavalry, turn around. Get over here. This army, yeah, I'm not so worried about. I think they've also got Nafatoons in this one, but I also honestly could not care. Um, shot cavalry, go out here. Oh, I don't want your archers out here. Carry on, like, doing that. Why have I managed to, both times there, just get units I did not want? There you go, carry on there. Carry on to about there. And we're good. We're looking great. It's just these horse archers are a little bit of a problem. Though they're not going to be a massive problem. Yeah, we're just going to just deal with this army... That arm, well, that army can deal with that army, and then this one could deal with a small. Well, you don't, I wouldn't even call it an army. I call it a, a band, a band of troops that got mis that got lost. Bless them. Um, archers come forward again. Swords come forward again. General and Nafatoons. Can you at least go there, just so it's not as confusing? Oh, take out that archer unit that's just going to sit there on its own. Uh, oh, yeah, I've just realised that these, these guys are definitely going to get shot on the back in the moment. Wow, they're actually uh, going to commit. Right, um, I'm going to turn my these three swords around. These archers can turn around, and these archers can turn around. There we go. Um, you go off to the side. Attack, 
You get out there, start shooting people. There we go. You can't go wrong now. I don't know how I've managed this, but this is not what I wanted. Um, you shoot there. You shoot there, please. That's what I wanted. Nafatoons get back. My general can go to there. Excellent. Form a shield wall. Form a shield wall. Excellent. Right. We're going to win this nice and easily, I imagine. Form a shield wall. You've killed all them. Right. Get out of here, then. I don't know why these Ghoulin foot guards are like this, but okay. The general's under attack. Oh yeah, he is, but... Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. You can go in a shield wall, you'll be fine there. Right, and here we go. Look at this. Easy win. These uh, archers are about to die. Archers shoot the spears. A new flank round. Don't know why these swords are still here, but oh well, they are. And we have more archers as well. Okay. Um, now start shooting the Nafatoons, wherever they are. Start shooting these Nafatoons. I have no idea. Uh, you also go in here. Excellent. Right, there we go. We're going to have won, we'll have won this nice and easily. Uh, why are you in combat? I hate it when archers do that. How, can, how are the Nafatoons not getting shot? Have they got like quite a lot of armor? Okay, there they go. They're getting shot now. I could bring up my Nafatoons, but I really don't want to just waste them. Shoot the spears in the back. Excellent, there we go. We're going to have won this battle nice and easily. Easy peasy. There we go. And those Nafatoons are gone. This has become a bit of a who can last longer in uh, skirmish. And it's going to be me. Oh, it's going to be me. You could go over here because everything over here is returned. Oh, the enemy general died. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I don't really care what happens to this. There you go. They're broken. Start moving forward with your swords. Excellent. There we go. Okay, I think most of the garrison's going to die as well. Which is good. Um, I guess you can all hold fire. So there we go. We've uh, basically won over here. Nothing really to worry about. They've killed a few of my general unit, but not anything really to worth noting on. There we go, and all these horse archers are gonna die as they uh, as they fall back. Oh, that was a nice volley. Excellent. There we go. We'll end the battle. A decisive victory, and that's how we uh, that's how we do it. Lost 65 men. I couldn't ask for a better result. Anyway, that is probably going to be uh, that battle is probably going to be the marking the end of this uh, this episode. I'm probably just going to wrap up this turn and then I'm going to end this episode. So we're going to take Yads, I think, pretty easily in the next turn. I'll besiege it 
well now, when this uh, army's finished looping around, uh, you can't actually move anymore, but you can. So it'll be the Bane of Christendom that'll take it. Uh, I'll put some siege towers in. Um, and you can't actually attack them, so I'm just going to move you all the way down here. There you go. You carry on doing your thing. You can just spot out if any other armies appear. Which they aren't, right? Brilliant. Um, why are you so upset? Buildings uh, plus that war weariness, characters, immigrants, religious differences. Hey, it looks like Shia Islam's going down here as well. Oh, not Shia is going up here. Sorry, not going down. I hope it, I wished it was going down. Um, but yes, we'll put this up here. I think this will help. I mean, the food situation here is okay. That will survive. That's then going to... Mm, yeah, it's looking okay here. Oh, and we can build something here. Excellent. I'm going to put in... Um, I don't know. I could put in grazing grounds. Uh, I don't really need it. Especially when I've got... Uh, oh, so if I might just put in a, a network. Yeah, put in that. Just make it more uh, more healthy. Because, uh, well, sanitation isn't great here. Currently. That will certainly help. And I th don't know if it's actually going to help with any public order. No, it's just going to cost maintenance, but I guess it's not the end of the world. We, we've got enough stuff here that can upgrade and make the place stay happy, so that's great. So we'll do that. So anyway, guys, that's probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Please do leave a like and a subscribe if you uh, want to see more of this Let's Play. That's how these Let's Plays carry on with your guys' support. So keep it up, and uh, until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 